gobble back in these woods behind me. Um, the Hunter Call of the Wild is a video game that's asked me to create a how-to tips and tactics for turkey hunting. I figure what a better way to do it than in the field while I'm actually chasing birds. That way I can point out things that I think are important and good strategies. Now I just need a bird to haul it back so we can get the shell on the road. The wild turkey is native to North America and spans across the country in nearly every state. There are multiple subspecies including the Eastern, Merriams, Rio, Osceola, and Goulds. Because of the turkey's broad distribution, they are one of the most widely hunted game animals in North America. Turkeys mate in the spring when the toms strut and display to attract hens. They are also very vocal and susceptible to calling this time of year. They feed on a variety of bugs and seeds, needing a combination of thick vegetation and open area habitats to flourish. In the evenings, turkeys fly to the safety of trees, where they roost, in order to remain protected from ground-dwelling predators. try to locate turkeys using what we call locator call. So there's a lot of different locator calls. One could just be like an owl hoot or a turkey gobble. And I'll do that off into the distance and listen. Uh, the birds are up in a roost right now before they fly down and I'm hoping to get them to sound off in the roost to make a play. If not, I'll keep throwing out different locator calls and different calls, keeping my ears open to hopefully hear one off in the distance to try to figure out where they're at. Some more turkey sign where turkeys scratched out, probably to feed on whatever little bugs and anything might be underneath this. You see also picking gravel and other things, but definitely a turkey sign right here. I've got my decoy set out here. There's a trail turkeys have been using. Um, I got a good backdrop, so if a turkey comes up, it won't see me, and I'll just make sure to stay still. On this setup, it looks like a single tom track. I don't know if it's a young one, like a mature tom, or a jake. So I set up just a hen decoy, because I'm going to make some hen calls, and I don't want him to get scared off if he's a little bit younger bird. I'm going to be set up here, ready, so I don't have to make a lot of movements with my gun. I'm going to be using my box call. I haven't heard a bird yet, but I've just seen some tracks. 
tracks. It was worth checking this spot out. Turkey hunting, there's a lot of different gear and a lot of different tactics, but we'll just go over some of the basics to start off. Uh, for spring seasons, most people use a shotgun or a bow. I decided to use a shotgun. It's a 12 gauge. I've got for shot a size 6 heavy shot. This thing on my shotgun, while it might look like a grenade launcher, is actually just a camera because this whole thing I'm filming myself. Uh, I do a lot of solo hunting and self filming, so. I figured I would just self-film and this is just helps me get some of the action. But this particular spot I'm hunting, I'm walking a long way so I don't have a blind. But if there's a field or a, uh, a place where you know turkeys are coming out, a lot of people will use a ground blind. Turkeys have great eyesight. So anything you can use to trick their eyesight, that includes camouflage, gloves, face mask, um, being very still. And then I also have some turkey decoys. In the spring, turkeys, that's when they mate. So, the decoys can help pull a turkey into your setup. Because a turkey's eyes are so good and they are vocal, it's possible to call them in. There's a lot of different types of turkey calls, but I'll go over a couple of the main ones. So this is a box call. I use this a lot. It's one of the easier calls to use. It works off of friction, so you just pass it over this top part over the wood side and it creates the turkey sound. The box call imitates the females, the hens, which helps bring in the gobblers. Now there's another friction call called the slate call, and that's just a round slate with a striker, and you do the same thing, um, friction, creating the turkey sound. Another popular call is what's called the diaphragm call or a mouth call. This goes in your mouth. This is probably the hardest to use, but can create some of the most realistic sounds and is hands free. As I'm walking around, it's a little bit later in the morning, and I haven't heard any turkeys yet. So they're out, they're definitely out of the roost. And as I explore a new country, I'm just throwing out some hen calls, hoping to just get like a shock gobble where the turkey hears a hen and he just <coughs> calls out. Now, hopefully, um, you know, maybe that maybe I can work that bird there, or maybe he'll just let me know that he's there and stay where he's at. So what I'm trying to do is walk around, locate a turkey first, and then I can decide how I'm going to proceed. I spotted the fans of some toms back here in the trees. So I'm just going to creep around where I won't be seen, set up, and see if I can't call them to me. Got in close, just no clear shot. Uh, There's just a lot of stuff in between me and the turkeys, and they were a little bit far, so I let them go. And then a hen came through, and they took off, and I have no clue where they went. I tried calling, and they just weren't as interested in me as they were that live hen. So time to make a new plan and maybe figure out a new way to hunt. Maybe set up with a blind and some decoys, or I don't know. There's a lot of options. Not every stock or every try works out. So, try something new. We've got this open area, this big open meadow, and a lot of trees around, which is really good, but it's hard to sneak up on turkeys in the open because their eyesight's so good. So what our plan's gonna be is we're gonna set up a blind and then have some decoys out, use some calls, and try to draw the turkeys to the location where we're sitting. If I could only fly, I would fly so high, I would kiss.
miss the sky, it'd be so, so right So right, so Awesome bird, mature tom, he's got a really long beard, really good spurs on him. Excited that I'll have the opportunity to at least virtually hunt with a lot more people and it's gonna be really cool so if you end up getting it I will see you in the Rockies uh -huh. 